we are about to take our first legitimate drive in this car. Hey guys, welcome back to Flippin' Nuts, I'm Bobby. So today, <laughs> finally, we're gonna get back after a couple months uh, working on Blue's Clues. Um, it's been sitting here for a couple months, so it's time to get this car on the road. My daughter needs your car. So uh, today we are working on the clutch master cylinder. Um, oh geez, and a couple electrical gremlins. Really, I just wanna get the car where it's drivable on the road and uh, I would, I'm, I'm comfortable with her going to work it back. So. That's our goal for today. So thank you guys for checking it out and uh, let's get after it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Bobby, Flipping Nuts. As you guys saw from the thumbnail, we're working on Blue's Clues today. Um, and if you've been watching the channel, if you haven't, um, we did. I did lose the footage from the first part of what we're doing right now, which is I'm changing the uh, clutch master cylinder on this car. Um, we tried to bleed the um, slave cylinder and it just would you know would take it a prime it, it did a little bit but it was still leaking and how i determined that it was the master cylinder, the clutch master cylinder not the brake master cylinder but the clutch master cylinder was because it was leaking inside the car and uh nine out of ten times if it's leaking inside it's the clutch master cylinder so anyway i got that it's been a minute since i messed with this car so um I kind of got where I am right now and got to a stopping point and, uh, you know, just quick stopped. <laughs> Other things going on. So it kind of works out because at least I can pick up from where I left off. And even though I lost the footage, it's still a fair amount to do to the car. So that way I can put something on there. There's not, there's a ton on there about with MK4s and Jettas, but there's just very little with Beetles, new Beetles, new Beetles. And uh, so I'm going to try and get as much of this as I can. Um, from this point, what I did uh, to this point was I went ahead and got the air box out of here. I disconnected it here from the throttle body and, um, you know, got all that out of the way. Uh, with this, you want to be really super careful because it looks like the plug is up here on the top. But as you can see, it actually unplugs from the bottom. Um, those are really brittle and they do break. Ask me how I know. And uh, so I had to take a trip to the uh, u pullet yard and pick up another uh, assembly for that uh, intake tube for that. So um, I did. I was. I did get lucky and was able to find one. Once we got that out of the way, um, I did pull this off. This uh, actually mounts right here, right? So I pulled that off. It just slides off, and then that gave me access to access to the uh, master cylinder. And from the master cylinder, I went ahead and removed this hose, which would have been on top. Um, actually, it was like this. And I had to slide this guy back. And it actually came off uh, pretty easily. Um, it's just, you know, getting back there, it's just very little room. So it was really kind of hard to get back in there. And so once I uh, got that out of the way, um, actually, it would be in. The master cylinder would be in like this. This is, this is what you see that's coming out of that hole right there. All right, this is sticking up and it's just like this. So you remove the hose I showed you from right there and then you would take this pin right here. All right, and there's a groove there and it's really hard to see. In fact, you can't see it uh, when it's in the car, okay? And you just take a pick and you, and you just work it back there and then you can pull this out okay and then that that releases uh the hose that's under that and then that releases that hose right there you can right there not really a hose but that fitting right there and then that's in here and you just pull it away you know and then uh, once that's done all you do is disconnect it from inside the car which is you know this looks like a lot here but it's really it's really not it's just you know it's kind of difficult getting back into these parts but once you know how that pin comes out you know that's half the battle 
you know, out here. And then once you're in the car, um, that's a whole nother atom, animal. So let me show you what we did in there. As you can see, I took the seat out. Um, just makes it easier to get access under here. Ooh, and I didn't cover this before, I apologize, but uh, there, there's a metal uh, shield that goes right there. It comes out real easy. It just has, I don't, I don't remember, eight or nine uh, screws that hold it in place. It's really simple um, to get off there and it'll be real obvious. And then I took the interior pieces off because there's a lot of the, the person that had this car before, besides letting it sit for years and years, and then we didn't help it any because we sort of did the same thing. But the plastic is really brittle. Um, and, and I think it's a pretty normal for these cars, especially the Volkswagens have a real issue with the door panels being real brittle and all the plastic being real, real, real brittle. But anyway, I took this all off. You can see this is broken um, because I'm going to be uh, sourcing uh, a new lower dash and stuff like that. Not new, but secondhand one. So anyway, but once you get this metal thing off, it gives you plenty of access there. And um, you don't have to have it off necessarily, but I was taking this off anyway, and I wanted to have easier access, especially for that one bolt that's basically straight that direction. And, uh, and so <laughs> that's why I took it off. With the seat out of the way, that does give you better access. I would recommend putting something on top of this thing right here that the seat, the bracket that it, the seat mounts to, it can really be brutal if you do actually lay in here, but I really just wanted access to do what I'm doing right now. The clutch pedal was right here, and I'll show you that in a minute. This bracket is here, and it's mounted here where the clutch pedal would normally be. Um, you would just take this bracket off. There's a bolt, obviously a 13 millimeter where my pinky is and a 13 millimeter right there where that plug is. Obviously you don't have to move the plug to get that out. And then there's another bolt, which is nearly impossible to see. Or excuse my extension. Um, I don't have a really long one, so I had to use two six inch extensions and a three inch extension to get back there. So you just feed it in basically right here by the corner of where the steering you know the cover for the steering wheel uh is and then just basically straight back and right above that spring there there's just enough room to get that in there and then you can get you can get your socket in there it's a pain in the butt but it is doable um so wouldn't recommend doing it in the middle of the night like i did <laughs> yeah really frustrated i promise what i'm going to do now is attempt to put some master cylinder in here and uh clutch all that together and see if it mounts up okay and i'll walk you through that well, once i get it done because it's not i'm not gonna be able to film it because there's just no room okay guys so there there's that um i was able to get the the two nuts in on the lower side and now i'm going to work on the one on the top side, which is just above that white uh, plastic grommet, whatever that is. Um, you can actually see the stud sticking out there just barely. Some, somehow I got to figure out how to get my nut in there. Uh, probably what I'm going to do is put some kind of grease or tape or something in here to hold the nut and then feed it through. So let's see how that shakes out with the clutch pedal extended out okay not against the firewall but extended out towards the seat you can just see the socket there i just pulled off of the nut it is tightening hallelujah you've already done this at this point hopefully you figured it out like i said that was in the footage that i lost but that basically fits right there into that hole and then you turn it and it basically holds that in place you can see i got the bracket back on um let me see there we go got that 13 millimeter right there and then a 13 millimeter right there so and that's the bracket that you have to take off to get the uh clutch pedal out clutch pedal assembly out so on the all the videos I've seen on YouTube, whatever, it was a bracket. 
similar but not the same and um, so if you're working on MK4 this is not what you're gonna be looking at I know this because I am now an expert on it <laughs> that's the bracket so I'm gonna get that uh, this plugs into the clutch um, switch clutch uh, whatever that's you know anyway I'll show you in a minute get this plugged in and then there's another one right here that one plugs in right right there right there but anyway let me get those tightened down and get those plugged back in and then i'll be right back with you all right the back the brackets are in um both the plug actually all three of the plugs are in uh, i don't know if that's the right one actually it's right Where's my finger? That plug, this plug, and this plug. Those are in, and it's mounted. So, boy, I'll tell you what, we're getting close. Now what I'm gonna do is feed the fitting that's right there into the bottom, and it'll kind of sort of snap in place. And then I'll take that metal grommet, which is right there, and I will just clip it in and it'll be held in place. And then I'll just slide that hose over there, put the clamp on, and we're ready to start bleeding. The clip's in there and the fuel line, the fuel line, the brake fluid line or fluid line is in there. So now I gotta do is just get that hose hooked up, hook it back up there, and this, at least as far as the master cylinder part is done. So that's great. It's funny, this part right here was probably the easiest thing I've done on the car, but taking it off was sort of hard. I mean, it really wasn't hard, it's was just getting back in there, you know? But once you get in there, if you're patient with it, it comes right out. So it's back on there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> I, you guys don't understand. I'm so glad to have that stupid thing back together. This car has been sitting since the last video a couple months because of this master sonar. I was so intimidated by it. It's really not hard to do. It's just time consuming. And, um, you know, if you don't know how or what you're doing, which most of the time I don't, as you guys well know, um, it makes it a lot harder than it needs to be. So, fortunately, if you just... You know, like I keep saying, I apologize if it sounds, it's driving you crazy, but if you're just patient with it, you'll figure it out. So there's the new master cylinder. You can see the, see it leaking right there on the floor, isn't that nice? So we're gonna be pulling it all back out. <laughs> That's so frustrating, I wanna find somebody. <sighs> well, just like that, it's out. And as you can see, Fluid is not supposed to be coming out of the ram. So, what a bummer. <laughs> but the upside is, it only took about 20 minutes to get it out that time. All the way from the engine side of the firewall to this side. So, it's definitely something to be said for knowing what you're doing. Now, I wouldn't go that far, but at least this time I knew how to get it out. Got it back together. So, new clutch master cylinders in there. Got it bled out. Point now, I'm just gonna put, go ahead and put the in, the uh, cold air intake tube and stuff like that in there. And see if we can get this thing cranked up and take it for its first legitimate drive. This, by the way, is the uh, clutch master cylinder, the second one that I ended up getting. There's the part number, bought that on eBay. Um, the first one was just real cheap, like 30, 30 something dollars. This was a little over 50 and, uh, you can just tell right away as soon as you open it, much better quality, uh, clutch master cylinder. So I'll put a link in the description for this one. See if we can get a cold start on this thing. I haven't done a cold start other than, you know, when I replaced that, uh, temp sensor. So coolant temp sensor. Let's give this a whirl.
really it just needs to be driven let's see if I can put it in gear back up <laughs> awesome we are about to take our first legitimate drive in this car we did take it around the block when we first bled the clutch a couple months ago and obviously that was a fail because <laughs> the clutch uh, wouldn't stay because it had a bad clutch master cylinder which we found out and we just fixed I'm rambling so anyway we're about to take our first test drive and blues clues and hopefully it, it does all right obviously i still have the dash all apart i just threw the seat in here so we could go down the road get rid of my handy dandy knee kill saver All right, guys, we're back. Did pretty good. Um, coolant light kept coming on, and I, you know, we, you know, I replaced that temp sensor. Um, there's a lot unplugged inside, so that's one thing. It's running again, and uh, filled the coolant up. It was low on coolant, and I went ahead and on uh, some of these things on the dash were unplugged, so I plugged those back in. My temp light did go out, and it seems to be working like it was supposed to, so. Successful drive. Uh, we did not overheat. Um, car did actually drove pretty good to, be, to consider it's been sitting for so long. So huge progress on Blue's Clues today. I'll take it, whatever we can get with this thing. So uh, the next video, we're going to clean this thing up and try and button up some of the stuff on the inside. See if we can get it running just a little bit better. It does need a tune up. Um, although I have replaced the plugs. I think it's time to do the foil, maybe uh, plug wires, some other stuff like that. So, all in all, though, I think it's pretty successful. Uh, I'll take the win. Well, there you have it, guys. We got it going. Uh, it is drivable now. Uh, got you know a couple of the gremlins with the uh, temp switch and the ABS and a couple of those other things. Kind of, at least I got I got an idea of what's going on. But at least it's drivable. I don't got to worry about that. So I think it's time to get it buttoned up. We're going to make a parts run again to the u yard. <laughs> See if we get those dash pieces that are cracked and all screwed up on the car and, and get the car where she's comfortable driving it. So 
but huge progress today finally after a couple of months of sitting here in the driveway i hope there was something here that you can use that maybe might help you along with your project i'm clearly not an expert i'm just a guy out here doing the best he can with he's got to work with so <laughs> so with that thanks you guys for checking out the video we'll talk to you later bye